What is up ladies and gentlemen, Oliver here with another project coming at you. So <clears throat> a little while ago, about a week or so ago, I ordered some parts for um, a windmill and that's what I'm going to be building. Uh, I got a treadmill motor and I bought a couple of blades off of eBay and uh, yeah, we're going to make a windmill because it gets really freaking windy out there. And first of all, I just want to give credit to uh, Missouri Wind and Solar for the uh, the windmill uh, the blades because I I don't know about aerodynamics. I don't know how uh, how specifically a uh, a blade is supposed to be facing or whatever to uh, make it catch wind perfectly. So um, I didn't want to manufacture my own, and it was just easier to buy them. And so yeah, let's go take a look at what I've got so far. All right, so basically here's what I got offline. It was. Uh, it came with this hub here and uh, three blades and they're angled so when you bolt them down they angle a little bit and here's what I did already I had a pulley that was a uh, 5 8 inch um, diameter and here's the uh, here's the motor I'm using um, it is a treadmill motor 2 points uh, or 110 volt DC power input 4,000 RPM um, treadmill motor. Yeah, so the pulley is still kind of hot. It fits right on there now because uh, this this hole right here originally didn't fit, and it also didn't have the uh, set screws inside there, so that was an easy fix for me to do. And uh, hopefully that works. So what I'm going to do is just bolt these on and see if. Uh, See if it works out. Just what the hub looks like up closely is just the pulley. And I'm gonna uh, go ahead and grind off some of that slag. So basically, what I gotta do now is build a stand for it. stand for and uh, put it outside because these I'm gonna break these if I don't stop all right well guys it's actually the next day and so we got our motor we got our um, our fan blade it's all connected but we need a way for the uh, the fan to uh, follow the wind uh, windmills they have that big old fan on the back right or the big the, like the wind catcher and the wind hits it and then it moves the uh, fan towards the wind and I'm gonna make that but I also need a way to um, have the motor rotate right so what I thought of was um, I need a bearing of course for the motor to be connected to and I went out and I bought this this is just a uh, um, you know like a cartwheel um, sort of thing it's pneumatic doesn't that doesn't matter anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this wheel and I'm just gonna use the uh, the bearing and the uh, the forks there as the uh, the rotator the jig I've, I've never really seen anyone do something like this but uh, we'll see if it works Definitely keep that bolt. I like it. So here we go. And now I just need to figure out a way to put the motor on. Mount it on like that. So that it kind of goes around. And follows the wind. Alright, so I got my uh, I got my platform that I want the uh, the engine to sit on, or the motor to sit on there. And I put it right here, and I want to notch it out a little bit so that it fits inside of these two things. Ah, you'll, you'll see what I mean. All right, so I realized I was just being a a, a dumb head there, and um, I just decided to cut off the forks completely because why do I need it to be that extra high? So I cut them off, and leveled these with the uh, grinder there. Uh, it's just about level. Let's see if 
fucking know. Well, it's right in the middle there, so... Uh, you probably can't see that, but who cares. Anyways, I'm gonna weld that on and, uh... Go from there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here is the, uh... The final, uh product sort of deal with the, uh, the what is this thing called? What is the proper thing called? Um, spinner? <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, here it is. I kind of just, you know, made this look a little nicer. I cut off some uh, extra there. And uh, yeah, let's put it on. Let's put the uh, motor on there. And look at that. Works like a charm. Now I just gotta worry about the uh, the wires. Put the flam blades on there. And there we are. Mount. So the next order of business here is to make a pole that this bolts on to and um, and also a uh, a, um, a thing that pops out here <clears throat> you can tell my vocabulary is just excellent a thing that pops out here and a giant thing that things right there and it pushes and the wind will uh, blow against it and it will go whoosh, move that you know so it follows the wind a tail, I suppose. We'll call it a tail. But anyways, guys, this is part one of the uh, the uh, the windmill build, and I think that's it for this job today. Um, hopefully, it's only two parts. I don't want to, uh, you know, drag this out too long. So yeah, next part two. Hopefully, I finish it up and put it on the roof. I also have a really awesome project coming up after this one that I've already prepared for and uh, it's gonna be uh, motorized it's not uh, a windmill or anything like that it's um, it's gonna be sweet it's like a go-kart but uh, it's just uh, keep watching all right I'll see you guys later bye